Hello everybody, my name is Stefan and I work in the Contentful Developer Relations team. And just recently, we had some pretty big news. We made our GraphQL API available to all pricing plans. And the best thing about this is that it includes the Community Edition, which is free. So if you're not using GraphQL today, maybe today is the day to get started. But before we dive in, let's have a look at what GraphQL is. So what you see here is graphql.org. And it states that GraphQL is a way to describe your data, to ask for what you want, and to get predictable results. It is a query language for UI API, or for the Contentful API in that case. But what does that actually mean? This means that you can define the data that you want to access by writing a query. And you can define the fields that should be included in the response. This means that there is no need for unnecessary data going over the wire. Additionally, Let's say you're building a website with five completely different resources. Usually this meant that you had to make five HTTP requests. With GraphQL, you can write a query and you can access all the data that you need in a single HTTP call. And lastly, and that's my favorite part, is that GraphQL comes with a type system and with a schema definition. And this allows tools like Graphical. So Graphical is a tool that shows you all the functionality that is included in an API endpoint, all the resources, all the filters, and you can write your queries and discover the functionality by just using this tool. There is no need to install SDKs or reading API documentation because it's all in one place. And this speeds up things tremendously, believe me. So what will we do in the upcoming episodes? We're gonna start fresh with a new React app and we're gonna use Create React app because it's the go-to way to bootstrap new React applications. And then we're gonna start from this, which is the result of Create React app. And it's really just the React logo spinning away and we will tweak it to look like something like this, step by step. And what you see here is a website that is built of several resources. It's a person, it's several bookmarks because I like to keep track of things. And let's have just a quick look under the hood. So let's refresh that. Let's have a look for GraphQL. And what you see here is the GraphQL request that powers this website. And what you see here is already this pretty, pretty big query that is included here. So it includes GraphQL fragments, filters, variables, and we're gonna build this query step by step. So let me just show you that this application actually works. I'm heading over to Contentful. So you're seeing here one resource, which is a person. And let's maybe, let's get started. Let me publish this. Let's do a refresh. And here we go. I'm excited. Let's get started.